What's going on, guys? Welcome back. So today, the Whitestone Dome Liquid Glass Screen Protector for the S22 Ultra. We're going to jump right in. we got a two-pack right here on the table. Shout out to Whitestone for sending this over to review. Not paid for. You guys will see this before they do. But this is their premium screen protector, a liquid screen protector. So we're going to check it out. All right, so we have everything laid out on the table, as you can see. And, of course, this is a two-pack, so we do have two of everything. We don't have two frames, but we all the parts that we need, we do have two of. So we're going to start here with these two little long pieces of foam. They're going to go on the side of this frame here, and it's going to go underneath this arrow here. One on the left, and then you are going to put the other one on the right. And that is it for that. And then you're going to take these four little strips here, black strips, and it's going to go on each side of your phone to protect your ports and any holes, right? We want to protect everything, especially on the bottom where we have all of our speaker and ports and the S Pen. We want to protect that. So let's throw this on real quick. All right, guys, so we do have each side covered with the black stickers on here. Again, adhesive on the one side of the black, and we'll, we'll cover all of your ports. And on the bottom, you can see we are covered. So next, we want to just clean our phone. So take your little screen protector, your LCD screen cleaning cloth that they do provide. Always cool. They do give us everything. So we want to wipe this phone down. We want to make sure that every bit of dust and dirt and whatever is off of this display which is always <laughs> very difficult just to keep clean even after you do this as soon as you touch it again it's going to get dirty so wipe that down grab your microfiber cloth clean the front as good as you can of course and then you are going to want to throw this inside of your your frame here, and it will snap right into place. We are good to go there. And again, do a double check. Make sure you don't have any dust. And if you do, you can take your little sticker here. It looks pretty good. There is a little piece of dust on the bottom. So I do want to grab that. Again, so easy just to get dust on there. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this little guy, this little sticker right here, we're going to peel this off, and there is a cutout here, which matches up top here, and this is going to protect. You can see the cutout up top, and that's exactly where we want it to be, and make sure that is nice and flat and secure, and then we have this little piece here, this little U-shaped plastic piece, and we're going to throw this up top here to secure that sticker in place, and there's a cutout here that you can see will go right into there. So we're gonna throw this in place. Make sure that is secure, and this will lock everything into place. So we're gonna throw that in there. Now, once we have all that in place, we can take our bridge here, and you can see the two holes right here. That is for your bridge. We're gonna throw that in place. Now you're going to take your adhesive, and you got two sides here. So you got the pink side, and then you have the black side. You want to take the pink side off first, and that is going to go on top of your bridge. And you can turn it over. Nothing is going to come out of here until you release the black side. So throw that on your bridge. That little adhesive already came out, actually, as soon as I put it on. But that's okay. We're okay. So we want to take off the black side, and it should... Just start to come out. You can see it did pour out. And I'd give it like 30 seconds or so. Make sure it is all out of there. It is still dripping down as we speak right now. But you can see it is there in a nice little circle. And we'll just give it another second. It is still dripping just a little bit. And once that is done, we can actually take that off as well as the bridge so we'll just do that right now take that off looks good so far looks good all right next step is to take our screen protector here and there is a back peel so we want to peel that off of there and try not to touch the back of this while you are doing that you don't want to get any dust or anything on here 
Now it is curved. You can see this does have curved edges. Kind of hard to see, but it's not flat. This is curved on here. So we do want to lay this in place. Make sure you are doing the right side. And you're just going to throw it on there. And don't worry about it touching the, the gook. It's not going to... Nothing is going to get on there yet because this lock is holding it above our liquid on there. So we are good to go. All right, now that we have the screen protector on there, guys, you are going to take this weighted handle here. There are two spots right here on the bottom. We're going to throw that on, and we're just going to lay this on top. And you can see we do have a little plus here with a circle. That is our target. So you're gonna, what you're going to do... This thing moves, it pivots, so you're going to touch the bottom, it's going to raise up, the liquid is go going to start to fall into place. Once the liquid comes to the center of your target, that's when you want to pull your pin out here, and the weight of this handle will spread all of that liquid evenly across our display. So let's give it a try right there and get ready. So you can see it moving down, it is moving down right now, it's almost there. And it's there, and now we are going to pull it and watch it spread evenly across our phone here. So it is spreading. Top is pretty much good. I want it to go to the bottom a little more, so I'm going to just lower it a little bit. I might have pulled it a little too early, but it's still looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, still going down, still going down. A little bit more and we should be good to go. The left side here is at the bottom. We're still waiting for the right side on the bottom to touch. And that is just about there. So far, so good. It is looking pretty good in my opinion and Come on, go down. Still going down. I'm trying to cheat it a little bit to get it to keep going down. It's almost there on the left side. Now we just need a little bit more on the right side. And if you pull it, wait another second or two after I did, and you should be good. I kind of pulled it when it was by the plus sign. Wait a little bit more until it's by that line, and you probably have an easier time. But we're almost there. It's almost perfect on there, actually. And there we go. It is all good. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this off of here. Now next we want to use the provided UV light from White Stone Dome. So you can see 15 and 60 seconds. Those are the two increments that we can use. So we're going to start. You're going to do it three times. 15, 15, and 15. Top, center, and bottom. And then we're going to go and do it again at 60 seconds. So let's get this guy hooked up. All right, guys, so we are all going, and you can see I do have the UV light on 15 seconds, and it should shut off after 15 seconds, and then we're going to move it to the middle. And it is all done. We're going to do it in the middle, hit it once. It should come on for another 15 seconds. And I'm just going to fast forward this in a second so you guys can just skip through all the BS. Now we're going to do 60 seconds, so we're going to hit it twice. It should stay on for 60 seconds. All right, guys, once this is finished, we are going to be able to pop our phone out of the back, and we are good to go. So I just want to give it a quick wipe down and... Look how good that looks. That thing came out absolutely perfect and a little oily on the sides. Some of the stickiness and the residue from the stickers are on there, but that will go away. I'm going to clean it with a wet wipe and we will be good to go. Now, one thing I did have to do, I did have to go in and reset my fingerprint on here. But as you can see, it is working just fine and you are good to go. So the Whitestone Dome... Liquid screen protector, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop some comments. Let me know. Hit that like button. Give me a sub, and I'll be back soon. Peace.